me show you how I installed this uh, Ford Assist and this dust cover. So after uh, maintenance on the upper receiver, um, I'm going to reinstall this uh, Ford Assist and the ejection port cover. Uh, of course, what you don't see here in terms of parts is any live ammo, no live ammo in the work area. So the ejection port cover has got this hinge pin, and at the end of it, it's got a groove cut in it for the uh, E-clip. So that uh, groove part goes to the forward part of the firearm. Uh, I'm going to insert the uh, pin as if the barrel's attached, so from the, from the rear end. And uh, I get it through to the opening in the ejection port cover uh, before I install the spring. So I'm going to slide the spring over the uh, pin. I'm going to put the short leg on first. And then I can bend the spring about 45 degrees and give it a clockwise twist and trap the long leg on top of the door and then push the pin the rest of the way through. So the spring holds the door open and the short leg should be against the body of the receiver and the long leg against the door. So with the barrel installed, the pin uh, can't slide forward. And to keep it from sliding back, we've got this little tiny E-clip uh, that goes into that groove on the end of the uh, pin. Okay, let's have a look at the Ford Assist. We've got the Ford Assist spring, uh, the pin, and the Ford Assist plunger assembly. Uh, the plunger assembly has got a flat spot on it uh, that this we can compress the spring and put that pin behind it uh, and then uh, the pin has to go through that flat spot so the plunger assembly has to be rotated to just the right uh, angle. Uh, this is a lot easier to do uh, with a jig. It takes uh, four hands so I'll set it up and I'll get a roll pin starter here and get the pin started and then I'll uh, be able to finish it. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim Humphrey from Imminent Threat Defense Firearms Training. Enjoy your firearms and be safe out there. <laughs>